Every day in high school, Kiwan would scoop dunk as many people as he could find. I've seen him scoop dunk three teachers, one principal, and every, wait, I'm sorry, do you know what that is, sir? I heard you, I heard you react immediately, and you're the only one. There was one person who was like, yeah, he did. <laughs> All the time, every time. Scoop dunk, you don't even know what that means. It could be, oh, Scoop Duncans. All the, all right, okay. <laughs> Guys, it's a sad poem. <laughs> Jeez. Every day in high school, Kiwan, I'm starting from the beginning. <laughs> scoop dunk as many people as he could find. Yeah, he did. I've seen him scoop <laughs> dunk three teachers, one principal, and every student from freshman to senior, that's senior year. A scoop dunk is the act of lifting one's booby, only to slap it down again, <laughs> sending that booby's human into a fit of rage and shame and embarrassment. The only way to protect yourself is to be aware of everything all the time forever. <laughs> I, <laughs> I caught him waiting on me under bushes, behind corners, under urinals. He got me in a movie theater I wasn't aware he was in. I used to watch as he would reach past newcomers' vulnerable handshakes and into the unsuspecting crescent of underbreast, like a blade in the night. Scoop Dad! Scoop Dad! Scoop Dad! Let me tell you, I'm not Scoop Dad! I hated him. He did this so often, we got used to it. So often, we would warn people before they met him, yo, Kiwan's gonna like... <laughs> He's gonna touch... Uh, you gotta punch him in the face. You gotta punch him in the face and he'll leave you alone. I'd do it for you, but I can't go everywhere with you. He'll find you eventually. Kiwan got punched in the face a lot, too. Like a whole lot of variety of punch. After a while, he got so good at touching boobs and dodging punches, he started to look like some sort of weird Shaolin monk. No one could stop him. He got arrested and he scoop dunked his way in and out of Cook County Correctional Facility. He managed to come out prison swole like Debo from Friday. Like I said, no one could stop him. Kiwan scoop dunked his mother. I shouldn't have, maybe I'd. <laughs> you know when you can't, like, I already said it. Kiwan scoop dunked his parole officer. Life wasn't worth the journey unless he knew the weight and flop of your growing vulnerable rage. That is until Kiwan got stabbed. Not for this. He accepted the blade before he knew who he was fighting. My friends fell with him, leaning into the concrete like redwoods falling through the moonlight, cut down in the very same park we were born next to. The doctor said they just missed a lung. The way the knife moved through his skin, it's a wonder no one died that night. The Kiwan's biggest issue was the nervous damage, or the nerve damage in his chest. How his nipples were extremely sensitive. Super duper sensitive nipples. <laughs> like t shirts bothered him and shit. <laughs> I've said all this so you know where I'm coming from. <laughs> when I tell you the first time I saw him after he'd left the hospital, it's okay. <laughs> he begged me for forgiveness, for mercy. When his hand reached towards mine, a truce, I had no choice. <laughs> but to reach past it. <gasps> Scoop, Dad! Scoop! All right, that's it. That's my poem. Thank you.